Welcome to another spoiler alert. Today we're talking about a program called Macro Recorder. Uh, this is uh, similar to another program that's been around for 20, 30 years called AutoEd, which is used to record mouse movements, mouse clicks, and keyboard key presses. Oftentimes used in systems administration automation, but also used in game automation or game macroing. So, <clears throat> AutoWid is free, but uh, uh, Macro Record seems to have a fairly healthy price tag associated with it. Now, there are ways to get into bypassing the, uh, the key verification and all of that, but the simplest way that I found is just to give yourself an endless evaluation. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So here's the program here. The, uh, this is how it installs right out of the box, and uh, it, the, uh, you'll notice I've made a backup folder, and that's for the executable. I've put it in my backup folder. Uh, this here program here is just for running macros that you've created. This is the actual executable. I've checked out test. I'm not sure what that does. Uh, might be one that I created, actually, by accident. But uh, this is the one you actually want to edit right there. <clears throat> so you're going to need uh, a, a program to edit it with. Uh, I happen to be a C Sharp programmer, so I have DN Spy. That's uh, DN Spy. You can see the name up here. Uh, you can search the, the net and, and find it. Um, but you will need to know C Sharp if you're going to get into this stuff. So. Uh, this isn't about that. This is just showing you where to where to uh, uh, edit it and how. So I'm going to look. I'm going to go ahead and look at the top of this class. Scroll on down to. Ah, let me close this. Close all. There we go. File open. File open. I'm opening the macro record right there. Going to the key gen. Going to the license checker. Now I'm I've entered the top of the class. Just I find it easier that way. Scroll on down. Do 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 do. And most of your stuff is here, but there are actually uh, a whole bunch of other methods you would have to go through to bypass the um, key checks altogether. For now, it's just simpler to, do, to uh, modify this. So let's take a look at that. So this is the actual function. It's a public, and you can see it wants, a, wants the program to return an integer. That's just a number. Now, technically speaking, I could wipe all of this out and just say return number and be done with it. But there could be things that this code is doing that's helpful that I need to leave in place. So I'll just let it continue to do all that work, and I will replace the final result. So that will return 10,000 days. I'm sure there'll be an upgrade before then. But the line above is critical, too, because what would happen is this is checking the date that the program was installed against the current date. And if, if that time has arrived, it's not going to return any more evaluation days. So let's just kill that. There we go. That ought to be enough to give us 10,000 days of continuous evaluation use. I compile that. And I go ahead and I save it. That's going to return it back to the code. Now I haven't... Uh, rerun the new the new uh, replacement executable yet so we'll see how that works out ah you have 10,000 trial days left so I'll just evaluate there you go I have 10,000 trial days Let's double check help uh, register yep 10,000 trial days yay and there you go that is how to get an endless evaluation of Macro Recorder.